of course you're gonna assume that i'm gonna say that you should buy paid courses online because that's what i sell as well but let me start off this video by saying that i learned to code for free i did not pay any money or anything i basically learned everything from mdn from youtube from hundreds of blogs out there so in this video if that gave you the satisfaction to be sure that i would not be like too biased then let's go ahead and see what i have to say in this one if you're new here make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon this is free of cost and helps the channel grow all right so the big question today is should you be paying to watch or to learn to code online today and the answer to this question is not a gray or black and white yes and no right there's no answer as yes there is no answer as no and i'm gonna get into that i'm gonna start by taking my example that i did not pay for any certain course any such course or program or anything like that when i was trying to learn to code as you might have heard from me or you know you might have heard on my read on my blog or heard in some other video my journey looked as follows i started early when i was in school i discovered html and css building my first blog and i was interested you know i was just curious how everything out here is working when i how i can create widgets how i can change themes and colors and stuff like that so it was my curiosity in seventh grade which got me involved into a little bit of front-end web development i did not even know the world back then what is front-end what is back and i just used to tinker around and play with html and css plus as a seventh grader, I pretty much had my whole life in front of me to learn something and that wasn't like career sensitive or career specific or I wasn't hunting a job or anything, right? So I spent a considerable amount of time finding resources, figuring out what is what, having fun along the way, googling up solutions. And to be honest, that I still believe till date is the best way to become a developer. If you have that much amount of time on your hand, you should truly like re never really pay to learn to code you know not paying any instructor not paying anything if you have the time window as a as a buffer or as a i should say as a cushion of time that is you have a lot of time you should idly learn development by exploring a lot of it on your own communities are free twitter is free a lot of discord servers are free now so that's fine you could even learn it on your own if you want that's not a big deal but the only issue with this approach when you try to learn on your own at least what i faced is that you have to spend a lot more time compared to somebody else who's following something that could be just a youtuber who might have just built everything for free that's definitely possible that could be a paid resource that could be a article which lists down everything you have to do but you have to spend much more mental energy over there in free resources so that you are able to get the right resources or you have to pay something for a structure so if you're somebody who's watching this video and you are seventh grader or eighth grader or if you are in ninth tenth even eleventh or twelfth class i would to be honest recommend you to spend more time figuring out a lot of things on your own because trust me at least what i know about web development it is not difficult to get started it is surely difficult to master and know a lot about tooling and this and that and it might seem from a distance that there is too much confusion in the ecosystem but trust me when you spend enough time with these things you get to know what to learn and what not to learn but the condition is that you have to spend enough time and you cannot force yourself in learning this on your own now comes the second part where people who are looking for a job or an internship or they are just looking to get something quick now Honestly, those kind of people are not my favorite. I'll be completely transparent because programming I do feel is best way to learn is, is best learned when you are really absolutely curious about that. But I still understand a lot of people need to learn programming and it is just a tool for them to make money to survive or, you know, just get a decent job and a decent paycheck, which is absolutely fine. But for those kind of people, you cannot, if you're one of them, you cannot really afford to spend a lot of time researching or figuring out or doing everything on your own. And trust me, I don't have an intention to sell you anything. When I say that, you can buy anything else if you want. But the truth is that in today's time, especially again, like I can only say for web development, I'm in that space. But I know that there is there is way more noise compared to 10 years back. 10 years back, sure, we had tons of libraries, but now we have frameworks, not just libraries. And the funny part about those frameworks are they also take backend 
into them, right? So it's not just about front end now, it's also about front end plus back end, Next.js, Hydrogen, Remix, all sorts of these, these are like three frameworks for React itself. Then we have three libraries like React, Swirl, Vue, Angular, stuff like that. So there's too much going on and you're gonna get lost and you're gonna waste a lot of months, trust me, if you don't have A, a mentor, who can guide you what needs to be done. This mentor could be your brother. This could be somebody who's working in some company and has gone through this experience. This could be some YouTuber. This could be someone you just trust, right? Or you need a structured approach like we have at Codam or, you know, other websites as well. That doesn't matter. But the point over here is that if you're trying to learn in a speedy, in a shorter manner, you need this structured approach, which can only be provided by a mentor, number one, or by the structured roadmap kind of thing, or by offline boot camps, right? You can enroll yourself in a six month boot camp and six month, 12 month, whatever it is, and get done. You know, just get that understanding. Again, in this space lies a problem where some people don't afford, don't really want to afford or don't cannot afford really uh, 15,000, 20,000 USD or in India, like 40, 50,000, 60,000 rupees boot camp. I mean, it's too much given that on the contrary, you see that a lot of information which you will learn in that boot camp is available for free. It's just hard to find, but it's available for free. So 60, 70,000 rupees or 20,000, 15,000 USD. If you're not willing to pay that bootcamp price, the best fit is some online platform where you either get a mentor, like I said, or if you are a self learner, you believe in yourself that you can learn to code and it's trust me, it's like not really hard. Then an approach for a code damn full stack learning path also makes a lot of sense. Now there lies a third kind of category of a person who already has a job or an internship and either they are looking to upskill themselves or they are just looking to learn something new or have some new skill set in their basket, right? And for these kind of people, I believe Time matters, absolutely, but not so much, right? For them, it matters a lot with experience, how they're able to learn and the quality of the content and how well structured it is, basically the qualitative parts of things, right? How good is the community? Or, you know, just like with Codam, we have built a full infrastructure from ground up where you practice right within the browser. So that sort of experience when you're learning, let's say, if I'm a JavaScript developer and I want to try solidity or ethereum or web 3.0 stuff and i want to build smart contracts and i want to do this sort of practice while i'm learning right if you ask any developer who's experienced who's recently experienced they would always recommend you to practice while learning practice and learn practice and learn not just learn everything at once and then start practicing because that's how programming is learned you take pauses from learning and you practice and you go back so similarly if i'm trying to learn that i want that experience baked into my journey right a udemy course is fine a youtube playlist is fine but i would not be willing to spend 30 dollars 40 dollars a month or you know on a single course if i'm already making like three thousand dollars on site in my job and uh, the experience is awesome so there is also that third kind of personality which can go ahead and learn from a code damn like platform I'm not saying like you should go ahead and buy a subscription. Well, you can do that with a 50% off link in the description. But yep, I mean, this is also one of the user persona which exists on Codam today. So what you have to realize is that you have to figure out which domain or which part in life you are right now. If you are at a place where you have a lot of time at hand, I would absolutely recommend you to try learning for free. If you have like at least a couple of years, one year, one and a half year, and you don't have that pressure on yourself that you need to get a job or anything, start learning for free. There is too much content, way too much, I would rather say, for free as well. But the only problem you're gonna face is the experience part, your experience of learning. I'm not sure if that will be good or your time, the return on investment on the time you're spending would be good the second part is if you struggle with money or anything then also like i would not really recommend you to go ahead and enroll yourself in any boot camp or even code damp pro if you are running really tight on money that motivation should be there internally in you that you should be able to learn out a lot of stuff for free. But if you're not constrained with money, I mean, if it is fine to spend like 20, 30 dollars a month, which is like a thousand rupees a month in India. If you are comfortable with that, then you could try a platform like Codam. You could try other platforms which help you structure the learning process a bit, which gives you the community support and uh, 
yeah, I mean, these things are important, which helps you practicing, building projects, showcasing your work to other people. So make sure you do keep that in mind. And finally lies the rich class of people which can afford to go ahead and take a $20,000, $15,000 bootcamp, which is also fine if you're somebody who is more into offline-based learning and you want a peer setting or, you know, connecting with friends and everything so you can go ahead and do that but again for most people i would not recommend that in today's time having a 50 60 000 rupees boot camp or a, you know a 15 000 usd boot camp because if you just spend a little effort on the 20 dollar per month subscription which i mentioned i mean it's it's close to like 100 times cheaper and it's basically the same thing if you're able to create that virtual environment. The only thing which you might say is missing right now is the, obviously the physical presence of the community. We'll see how Meta fixes that maybe in the span of next 10 years. But yeah, I'm, I'm optimistic that people can still learn to code without spending 20,000 USD. But that's always an option if you do have the money. So you can go ahead and do that. So just to summarize what we discussed in this video, ways to learn programming online or programming in general today is you learn to code for free, use YouTube, use Google, MDN, tons of free resources, but tons of confusion as well, especially when you aim for the big shots like full stack developer or, you know, the new stuff like Ethereum Web 3.0 Solidity or something like, let's say, mobile application developer stuff like this because this space change a lot frequently and i mean free resources usually tend to get outdated real quick until they are also backed by some sort of money or you know people who are able to keep that up to date because at the end of the day people need to work on resources right and usually i mean if you are paid to do something you usually do that in a in a better way compared to when you're doing it for free. Second way is to actually go for platforms like Codedam and others where you get a structured approach, where you get a nice community, where you get a 50% limited time discount linked into the description, uh, but you get a structured way of learning to code online, right? So these sort of places would help you create the best of both worlds, kind of like the best aspects of the bootcamp without the hefty price and the best aspects of, you know, the community, and the practical learning and project building which also is, is kind of like a setting in bootcamp but also remaining affordable just like free resources i mean free is like technically zero but you still are at 20 dollars per month 800 rupees per month stuff like this and finally the third way is to go ahead and do these offline boot camps which cost might cost you like thousands tens of thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of rupees which to be honest i only recommend in cases where you really want that pretty much you know you have to have a person guiding you all the time you need somebody on the call to learn and you pretty much are paranoid till a certain extent i would say because at this point, everything you can learn on your own if you have the will and if you have a few months time, right? So that is all for this video. If you liked it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to see you in the next one really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching.